What's in my pocket? What's in my pocket? What's in my pocket? I think it's time for what's in your pockets. Matt, what's in your pockets? What's in your pockets? I got Let's my go. phone. My wallet. And Ew, dude, these, do you carry this around? Ugh, the wallet? That's, uh, it's got some wear on it. Do you sit on this all day? You got some tinnies on the desk. <laughs> Every day, not because I like it, because it's cheap. What else? You got, you gotta have something else. We got chapstick, wallet from Mexico. We got the big iPhone, nasty keys. Thanks, man. What's in your pockets? I hate that door. All right, I forgot my tripod at home, so this is this is gonna have to this is gonna have to do. <laughs> Let's see here. So I had a conversation with a friend of mine the other day, and we were talking about vlogging, and, and he said to me, "Do you actually carry this rig around with you every single day?" And I was like, "Well, yeah. When I'm vlogging, it goes with me. It's my vlog camera." And he said to me, "Like, well, if I was to ever vlog, because he was trying to get into it, and we were talking about like, you know, where to start and what to do." He was saying, "Even if I was going to get into this today, I would never carry around a camera like this because it's just ridiculous. The microphone's too big. The camera's too big." I would just never do it. So then we started getting into the conversation of, well, like you don't have to use a mirrorless camera or a 1DX or a Sony or an X-T3. Like you can just use your phone. Like there's tons of people that just vlog on their phones. Like the quality of these days is 2019. Phones are still great. Like it's passable as inserts or as an entire vlog. He told me like, I'd like to see some vlogs from you where you use just your phone. Now I kind of correct the line of thinking and saying like, I, I don't just myself personally because I have this equipment. I don't only use my phone, but there are plenty of times where my phone is more acceptable than using a big camera. It's they're easier to bring around. It's more acceptable in retail stores and different environments where it is kind of awkward and weird because of its size and its portability. So I kind of wanted to make this video to show you the amount of times I actually do use a phone as inserts for these professional videos. It's not as big of a deal as a lot of people think it is. I feel like when you say like I shoot this on a phone, there's an instant like, oh, that's gotta suck then, or it's just not gonna be good enough. But it is, like it's it's great. So I'm headed up to the lake because I'm actually meeting the guys from Moment today. And coincidentally, they make products for phones, like lenses and stuff to film better videos and take better photos using your mobile device. I have this because that's actually the grip that I use when I hold the phone. I, I, all right. So we're gonna head up there and get on the jet skis and that's perfect for bringing a phone. I'm gonna try and bring my vlog camera too, but sometimes it's a little big to kind of stuff in the front bin of a jet ski. So I'm gonna also have the phone to use what I call mobile inserts. That's when we're talking with editors and stuff like that. Like, well, let's just throw some mobile inserts in there and you'll see how it doesn't deter from the story at all. I'm excited about this. Ugh. I should also, I should also mention that none of the actual footage that you're seeing here is any kind of prototype product from Moment. I, I am looking at some of the stuff that they're bringing to show me, but nothing in this vlog has anything to do with what they're, yeah, just a little disclaimer. Moment, guys. Yo! Yay. They're all the way up here in Canada. What? Are, what are they doing so far? So far from home. Came ready, dude. Came ready with the boardies. I didn't quite come ready. I'm like half ready. Got a flannel shirt and then boardies. <laughs> you look more dad than You're I do. You're the dad, though. I know. Good to see you. I boys. have the dad bod, though. Yeah, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> What's up, drone pilot? Ready to fly? Ready to fly. So the moment, guys, came down from the states. They came up from the States. They came from Seattle. They came across from the States to show me some new product stuff that they're working on. That's why I love this job. It's so exciting to get to see some of this stuff beforehand and then watch it develop into just epicness. And this thing, ooh, it's good. It's really good. I held the note extra long just to ex ex accentuate, accentuate, accent, to dramatize, dramatize, 
I'm excited. Safety briefing, you know, out on the water, proper licensing, all that stuff. Jordan squares that away for the boys. I don't think I've told you guys yet. This is my Sea-Doo Spark Trix. I'm 6'4", so this is a pretty small machine for me. I, I look kind of like a trained bear on it. I may or may not have bought a bigger Sea-Doo, a GTX. I can't confirm nor deny, but you might be seeing that soon. So this might be one of my last rides on the old tricks here. It's gonna be a great day though. We got eight kilometer winds, so the gusts aren't very strong at all. It's gonna be nice and nice and calm out there on the water. The river's gonna be just glass. I'm pretty excited for this. Did you tell them how cold the water is? No, I don't want to deter them. I'm gonna go full wetsuit on this, you? Same. <laughs> yeah. They're in bathing suits and they're like, we're like, yeah, the water's great. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's not gonna be fine. I'm gonna rock the camera in the front bin of this ski. It's not waterproof, so brought my hoodie to try and, I don't know, maybe pat it a little bit. It's a very bad idea, but I want decent vlog quality when we're out there, so it's the only solution. I'm gonna put it in right now. I'll see you guys in a minute. Jordan, you are very good at riding a jet ski. Very good. Dude, they're so hyped on that stuff. Good. Like they're Solid. so, they're screaming like children. Yeah. <laughs> like they're running around jumping off the tables, bro. <laughs> okay, so good news and bad news. Good news, we made it to this beautiful beach. No problems, the water was great. The bad news is I left the camera in the front compartment. I put a sweater over it to kind of try to, you know, cushion that impact. It didn't work, that broke my microphone mount. And I should have probably learned my lesson from the last time I put my 1DX in the back of my ATV and went off-roading and then was surprised that it got broken as well. It was also microphone related, it was the audio jack. I, you, you'd think I would have learned by now, but I didn't. But I think I might be able to fix it with a Band-Aid, like a Band-Aid fix, like an actual Band-Aid fix. The Band-Aid fix, literally. The band-aid fix. This is the the break point right there. No one has any gaff tape. I was like, does anyone have a band-aid? Caleb was like, oh, in my fanny pack. I'll stir in the corner here and then. So what you're gonna wanna do is stick the band-aid on the broken part of the rye coat mount. You're gonna wanna wrap it around counterclockwise, making sure that it's nice and taut. I'm gonna come back around with that sticky end and see how we've made a little, little cone, a little conical shape. We can now press that, which is gonna seal it in at the top, and our mount is 100% wow. fixed. Bam! But, thanks for filming that since I yeah, couldn't dude. use my camera to film that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do, honestly. Not sponsored. There's very top secret things happening over at this table. You'll know in time, but it's it's great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. We are done at the beach location. Now we are riding to the river. A little bit calmer, there's no wind, so that, that'll be, footage there is just gonna look great. Uh, I'm gonna put this back in the, the jet ski, but this time I'm not going to, uh, I'm not gonna put the mic on, because I only have one more Band-Aid and I really don't want the mount to break again, so safety first. Whoa, what's up, we are back, we are on the river. Listen to this, nature, birds, beautiful nature. Almost dropped my phone, did you hear that? Almost just dropped my phone, look at this. Thank you well, oh, oh did you guys hear that? Almost gone. Woohoo! Living on the edge. I like it. Isn't this this is total Ozark's vibes, isn't it? Anyone seen Ozark? No? Just me? Nobody seen it? Netflix? Subscription service? Lots of shows and Ozark? I watched the first episode. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to dry my sweater off here because Jordan was doing some some wheelies on the tricks here and he fell in when the ski came down so all the water went in and soaked my hoodie so I'm just trying to dry it off in the sun because that's what was protecting my camera from all the splashing ripping across these waves. But look at that. Isn't that just awesome? <laughs> oh, it looks so good. 
good. All right, we are done. That was a fantastic ride. The weather couldn't have been better. Got some beautiful footage, very productive. Everyone's happy, but we haven't eaten in like eight hours. So that needs to happen now. Bro, you hungry? So hungry. So hungry. You hungry? Ravenous. All I've had to eat today is a Gatorade. Are you guys starving? Yeah, we had uh, Tim Hortons coffee and Tim Bits. How was that for you guys? So fun. Yeah. I am obsessed with doing those little, little 180. They're so sick. Yeah. Did you like it? Fun. Oh, we we had some fun. I got a vertical slow mo of Peter jumping on the jet ski. Yeah, pretty cool. Trick in slow mo. Ski. Yeah. Ooh, in slow mo. <laughs> we we had fun, but we also got some good footage. I hit the record button. Subscribe to Moment. <laughs> <laughs> we think what it means to be Canadian. Drink Timmy H. Ride jet skis. Ride jet skis. Have great manners. Have great manners. Be so polite. Get a pickup truck. F-150. Yeah. Screw Toyota. Is it to all Toyotas or just Tacoma? I just really hate the Tacoma. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's just, it's just oh, it's weird. Just, it's just, is it cool? <laughs> My favorite thing about this camera is that you can shoot in Timbits. Yeah, so it's, sick. it's a Timbit color it, profile. It's a Timbit color profile, uh, 10 Timbit. They leave this on? Yeah, they left it on. They would leave it on. Irresponsible smartphone shooting mother. All right, last location of the day. I am getting tired. We had some coffee. We got the double double. Classic Canadian, right? Two milk, two sugar. That's the daily commute right there, folks. It's really good. This is right? so good. <laughs> Jet skis was fun. This. Busy day, super packed day. And uh, I couldn't be happier with how everything went. We had great weather. So all in all, very successful shoot. Had fun hanging out with good people. That was yes. amazing. Super Thank awesome you, day. It's Thank been a you, moment. Man. It has been uh, many. Safe travels many back to America. Thank you for reading me in on the super exciting stuff you guys are doing. Just so dope. And what yeah. a great day it was. Next time in Seattle, I want to come visit. Yep. So let's yes. make that happen. Something rad. Okay. Heck yeah. Boys. Yeah. We got the spots. We safe got coffee. travels. We don't have Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons for life. <laughs> Tim Hortons for life. <laughs>